Okay, let's see the acceleration. Oh, wow! This certainly has that pull factor. It has that... Remember, I'm riding in the eco mode. Good day, folks. Welcome to another video. So, it's a beautiful day. Chances of rainfall quite cloudy nevertheless a perfect day for a motorcycle ride on my Ducati desert sled so I'm heading out towards the Ducati showroom in Kathmandu I got a phone call regarding a new motorcycle launch so I'm heading towards the showroom Riding alongside the river. This is Kathmandu. It's narrow streets. And a lot of traffic, of course. So let's go ahead and go up this bridge. And let's all right. The showroom is located in Naxal, Kathmandu. Uh, the name of the showroom, I guess, is the Enduro Motors. Uh, the Ducati showroom, it has a different name. It's called Turbo Motors. There is a big boom in electric vehicle in Nepal because of the uh, low tax custom duty on these vehicles. The petrol motorcycle, the petrol vehicle on the other hand have very high tax, high custom duty. So bringing in these electric vehicles is a good thing because uh, in Nepal it has tons of hydroelectricity potential. And uh, we don't have to depend on importing fuels. We can just make profit out of electricity produced by renewable energy. So that's really good. Okay, so almost there. So I have arrived at Naxal, now entering the new showroom for the electric motorcycle. Let's go ahead, not sure where it is, this is the Ducati showroom, uh, I don't know where it is, these are the BMW showroom, let's go ahead and park it inside here. Okay, let's put the bike in there. There you go. That's my beauty. Okay. Good bike. Alright, so this is the showroom. So, oh, Energica. So the electric bike is uh, Energica by Italian company. So these are the beauties. Wow. Stunning bikes, beautiful. So they are also launching this uh, Xperia, the Energica Xperia model. I'm really looking forward for that bike. These are all street bikes, naked bikes, sports bike, lovely bikes. They have uh, like a Ducati look in them. The Italian design. This is how the dashboard looks like. You can see uh, 
TFT LCD screen. Eco riding, urban, rain, sports, thai, traction control type. 420 kilometers on a single charge. Wow. City with 420 people. Okay, city with 420 people. Uh, combined one. 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 Mostly because I guess due to battery, eh? Oh, battery. So bike has two years of warranty and battery three years. Three years. And kilometer wise, uh, in terms of kilometer, what range uh, just the uh, battery capacity is saying old guards are like 80% somewhere. So, uh, life cycle so these batteries have a life cycle of 1200 cycles. So estimated about 2 lakh kilometers when you reach a battery of 80% degradation that is so 2 lakh kilometer is a lot right and here is the price list okay so I'm going to do a test ride on this beauty I am not very sure about these electric bikes they have tons of power I do ride a new electric scooter but that is totally on a different league this one is a beast Okay. Stand up. Mm -hmm. Stand up. Drive mode. Man. Drive mode. Okay. Uh, front brake. Front brake. Okay. Oh, go. Okay. So I need to hold the brake and push on the ignition. It's very different than the petrol engine. So you, if you need to shut it off, this. Uh, that's shutting off, I right? know. Okay. Now the same process. Okay. So to start, pull the front brake and press that. Okay. And to turn it off, you just push that. That's how easy it is. Let's see, this bike weighs 260 kilo. So this is in the range of BMW GS. Okay, I am in the eco mode. Eco mode in there? Okay, I'm going to Yeah, just like Okay. Foot pack is this? I'm going to put it Okay. Okay, let's take this beauty. Alright. But due to the low center of gravity, this bike doesn't feel that heavy. Uh, it has very low center of gravity. Wow, look at this. It has a very different sound. Wow. Sounds like a rocket. Oh, the suspension feels very plus. Oh, wow. I am in eco mode and it's already screaming. Oh, these are regenerative braking. As soon as I let go of the accelerator, the brake, this, it has that regenerative braking. This bike is not quite. It has sound. It has a whining sound. It's very comfortable to ride. Oh wow. Oh man, this is an eco mode and this this bike. This is looking good. Let's go over here. This is how the horn sound. Look at that beauty. Okay, let's see the acceleration. Oh, wow. This certainly has that pull factor. It has that. Remember, I'm riding in the eco mode. This motorcycle has a range of 400 kilometers with a 21 kilowatt battery pack. I'm not sure about the horsepower and torque figure, but this is insane. It sounds like a, you know, kind of like a spacecraft. Okay, 
I don't know how to pull it inside. I think it has a reverse as well. Okay. Wow. This bike feels amazing. Limited car. The top speed is limited. Top speed. I'm only eco mode. My drive car. It feels like a rocket. If you go on a G force. Yeah. If you go on a sports, then it helps. Instantly, 80 km per hour. Bate is enough. Nepal ma maybe 500 km din sa hala yalle. Abhi it stop and go traffic hai. The future ye yalla. This is the future. La anyways thank you hai. It's nice talking with you hai. La. Amro Anil bhai hai na? So if you're looking out for a high performance electric motorcycle with a long range instant torque instant power look no further. We have it in Nepal. It's by Energica and this is the showroom in Naksal. Beautiful bikes. With that being said, thank you for watching and see you next one. Cheers.